In this video, we're going to discuss and demonstrate tissue texture assessment for somatic dysfunction. Now, we can perform tissue texture assessment on any part of the body, but today we're going to demonstrate it on the thoracic and lumbar spine. Tissue texture assessment is best performed directly on the skin, so we have our patient today without his shirt. Uh, I'm going to be pushing on a couple areas in your back um, and rubbing a little bit to determine if there's any areas that become a little red or uh, that have any issues. Is that okay? Okay. All right, so if you could turn around and face the wall for me. Okay. So now we're going to begin our assessment with inspection. So we're going to be observing for any obvious deformity, any obvious asymmetry, any masses, swelling, edema, uh, any areas of erythema, any skin lesions, and any changes in hair patterns. So initially, I'm seeing that there's a little bit of redness in this right upper thoracic region and also in this left middle to lower thoracic region as well. Moving on from inspection, we can assess for temperature. We're going to use the back of our hands hovering over the skin, so close to the skin but not touching. And then we're just going to bring our hands along the spine, assessing for any differences in temperature. And we can do this with two hands or we can do it with a single hand using a stepladder approach. And what I'm feeling is a little bit of increased temperature over this uh, mid to lower thoracic region here on the left and a little bit of increased temperature also on this right side as well. So moving from temperature, we're going to begin our initial light palpation. So we're going to use the pads of our fingers on both sides of the spine and gently palpate appreciating any change in skin texture, so any roughness or smoothness. Uh, we want to assess for any areas that might feel a little more moisture or a little bit dry. And I'm feeling that as I get to this uh, mid to lower thoracic region that it almost feels uh, less uh, coarse, so a little bit more smooth and a little bit uh, dry on the right side, but, but also a little bit uh, extra moisture on the left. So now moving on from our initial light palpation, we can add a little bit deeper palpation with slight blanching of our fingernails. And we're assessing for any bogginess of the tissue, any ropiness that might suggest somatic dysfunction. And we can also uh, apply firmer pressure attempting to elicit any tenderness and also feeling for any muscle hypertonicity. Any tenderness here? No. No? Okay. So I am feeling a little bit of hypertonicity in this uh, right middle thoracic region, also in this right upper lumbar region, and also in this right upper thoracic uh, region here. So our next step is to perform the skin drag test. We're going to take our index finger and middle fingers. We're going to place them in the paraspinal area uh, on either side of the spinous processes, make a very light contact, and just drag our fingers down the thoracic and lumbar spine. We're going to be trying to appreciate for any areas of increased friction, any areas that make our fingers feel like they're stopping. Um, and I'm feeling a little bit of that uh, increased resistance right here on this right side. And that can indicate uh, changes in moisture and texture that can indicate somatic dysfunction. We will then move on to an erythema friction rub test where we're going to take our index and middle fingers again and we're going to bring them to the paraspinal area just lateral to the spinous processes. We're going to add more pressure enough to blanch our fingernails and we're going to apply a brisk inferior friction motion dragging along the skin in the different regions through the thoracic spine and lumbar spine. And we're going to be observing for uh, the red reflex, which is an initial erythematous response on either side of the thoracic spine. And we're going to be observing for any areas where the red reflex might uh, last longer and any areas where the red reflex might dissipate sooner. So what I'm seeing is this very upper thoracic region on the left side. That red reflex seemed to dissipate much quicker. And on this right middle thoracic region, um, this red reflex seems to be lasting a little bit longer. And uh, in this area here, in the mid to lower thoracic region on the left, I'm also seeing some increased redness lasting a little bit longer. 